Hi, boys and girls. So now we're going to take some notes on some play vocabulary words that you're going to hear this week. So grab your reading notebook and your pencil. And you might also want to grab a highlighter. At the top of your reading notebook on a new page, and I just went right from my compare and contrast to the next page. Don't go to like the third page in. Um, at the top, write play vocabulary. This will help you to stay organized. All right, we are going to write the words you're going to hear this week and um, talk a little bit about them. And then on our next lesson, you're going to actually look at a play and some of this will start to make a little more sense. So the first thing that um, has to do with a play, and we've kind of already talked about this, is the word actor or actress. Actor or actress. And like I've told you before, I like to do a quick little highlight. It helps me just gather my eyes to the words. Actor or actress. And the actor or the actress is the people who perform in a play. And remember that an actor is the boy, an actress is a girl. So actor and actress are the people who perform in the play. Sometimes a play will have what's called the star of the play, the star of the show. And this would be the person or the actor or the actress who performs or acts the main part. They're kind of like the main character, the main part. So it is the biggest figure, the most important figure in the play. They would be considered the star. Now a play is performed for an audience, an audience. And remember, the audience is who's watching it. So this is people who gather or come together to watch a play. It's the people who come to watch the play. They're called the audience. The audience. There. All right, and then a play follows, which we talked about already when we did our elements. The play follows a script, a script. And the script is the text in a play. So the text means the words written down, the text in a play that tells the actor's what to do, and when to do it. So it tells the actors what to do and when to do it. It also tells them the words. It is basically the play written out on paper. Who is doing what? Where are they doing it? What are they saying? What scene? What act? That is all called the script. The script. And the script is written by a playwright. A playwright. A playwright is a person who writes a play. Play right. Now, the word right is not spelled like you might think, but that's how it is spelled. A playwright. And that is the person who writes the play. Now, in the play, there are some important parts of it. There is the dialogue that occurs in the script of the play. We've talked a little bit about this also already. But the dialogue is the talk between characters. 
What is the character saying in the play? So the characters have to talk, and that is what is the dialogue component. So the script is written by a playwright. It has dialogue in it. It also is going to tell you the act or acts that are in the play. And this is the major sections. It kind of establishes usually a setting. So act one might be taking place in the farm, on the farm. And so there's going to be a big event that occurs in act one. Then act two, it might stay in the farm, but something completely different might be happening and they're building on each other. All right. In addition to the act are what's called the scenes. This kind of tells us the setting of the act. So the scenes help us understand the setting and it's a section of an act. And once we look at a poem or a play, excuse me, it's going to make a little more sense. But you start with the big idea of act one, act two, act three, and then you have your scenes in your acts to help us understand where it is taking place. Now, also within a play are going to, in your script, is going to be what's called stage directions. Stage directions. And this is not directions for a stage, but it's actually directions for the characters so they know where they need to go um, during the play. What is it that they're going to be doing? So the stage directions tell actors or the characters what to do and where to go. Laugh as you're walking to the right. That's a stage direction. The actor or the character doesn't actually say that. It's just the movement that they're making. So these are usually in parentheses and they give the, the actor the direction of what to do in the play. All right, I'm going to turn my page. We have a couple more words. So the next word we're going to write down is the word cast. Cast. The cast is what we call all the actors in the play. So it's the list of all the actors in the play. They're called the cast. So in a, a book, if you're getting a book about the play, it'll list the cast and it'll have all the names of the people who were performing in the play. The cast. Now before a play actually goes on stage, they would have a rehearsal. Some of you might have heard this before if you do any kind of dance or you've um, gone to any kind of a group activity. Sometimes you have a rehearsal. A rehearsal is a practice before the show. A rehearsal. So it's where the cast gets together. They act out the entire play from the beginning till the end to make sure they know their parts, where they're going, and that there aren't any issues. It's done before the live play is performed for the audience. All right, so those are our vocabulary words you're going to hear. And then we are going to get ready to dive in and look at some plays. And you are going to hear these words over and over and over. Keep your notebook handy throughout your lessons so you can refer back to it and know what is being talked about.